What's up guys and welcome back once again to Diddy Reviews. Today I'm looking at can I make my own laptop and I say it, laptop in inverted commas because it's not going to be the traditional sort of laptop layout you'd be used to. It's going to be a desktop PC in a small sort of frame um, with an attached screen uh, and then hopefully I'm going to find some way of incorporating a keyboard into it but it's not going to be like built in it's going to be a separate keyboard and mouse combination so it's not going to be uh, an authentic sort of laptop um, but it's going to be um, sort of the, able to use it as if it were sort of a laptop but it's not going to have a battery or anything like that it's going to be need to be plugged in but anyway let's have, uh, have a talk about it so you may notice you may recognize this if you've seen any of my previous videos if you've seen videos from Inwin themselves and wear my Inwin t-shirt today and uh, show my appreciation to those for sending this over to me a long long time ago well not a long long time ago but a while ago um, they sent me the original mod free deluxe edition which is the big full tower case with all with extra pieces on it the modular case that they do where you can add pieces to it uh, and do all sorts of configurations with it they then were kind enough to send me the one you can see in the background here i hope you can see it the mod 3 mini the mod 3 edition um so they sent me that one with the walnut on it and i absolutely love that case it's absolutely stunning it's very expensive but it's very very nice um they sent me that one um but from the mod 3 deluxe uh, i had one of these to use i wasn't currently using it as a pc case because i've Pre since then I've built it in different cases as you can see um, it's in a different case now my main PC um, so it's that case is currently empty so I thought what can I do to make something really interesting and to use their system again and as as it's called the mod free you can probably understand that their intention is for people to use it to do mods and things like that um, so I thought um, I won't go into the reason why I'm doing it, or should I? Yeah, I'll, I'll go into the reason why I'm doing it. Mainly, we're having another baby, so we're gonna have two. This room is gonna be turned into the new baby's new the new baby's room. Um, so I'm gonna have to move out into the garage, um, and then I'm gonna want I wanted to have a PC available to me to do a little bit of gaming and other stuff on in the house when obviously looking after children, whereas I can't just keep going out to the garage. So that's the story of why I'm doing this, and. And would have enabled me to do this by allowing me to use their mod free system so this is the mod free mod 2 um sort of frame and this one when it comes with the deluxe version is meant to house your player power supply unit basically pretty much all it all it holds i think when you do it it's for your power supply um, and I think you can get extra brackets, if I remember rightly, there's extra brackets to put uh, hard drives and things like that in there as well, or SSDs. Um, obviously, as you can see, it's a lot bigger than a PSU needs to be, um, so you can fit other stuff in there. But there's lots and lots of brackets and stuff that mod that, uh, Inwin do for their mod free series. Um, and I'm hoping they're going to continue to work with that because it's such a cool system. And the fact that you can sort of build a main PC and then stick another PC on the side of it and things like that. But anyway, this is the mod 2 uh, frame. Um, which obviously comes with panels and stuff normally but as it is I thought how can I utilize this to make what I want happen so I'm using this it's going to be a very modest um, PC build so I'm using this old relatively old um, mini ITX board I have which has just got a 10100F in it I know it's very very low um, but this is literally going to be for 1080p low quality gaming just on a small screen um just to basically have something there to be able to do a little bit of gaming on i may even stream it from my main pc so i'm actually being able to play at really high quality so i'm using the asrock something <laughs> um, i can't remember what it is the h510 or something like that i can't remember it's the asrock it's got wi-fi got 10100F in it, it's got two sticks of 8GB Crucial Ballistics in it at 3200 and a 1TB Samsung hard drive. So I'm using that, I'm also using, thank you to be quiet, I'm also using uh, TFX, uh, three, TFX Power 3 I think it's called, the 300, and, I think it's 300, 300 watt TFX power supply, just because I asked them if they would lend me one for a pro uh, lend me, uh, give me one for a project, and they did. So thank you to those for that. And this makes this build a lot easier, being so small and compact. And you'll see in a minute how well it fits into this build. Other than that, as I said, it's a modest gaming PC. I'm using the Asus Radeon 6500 XT Dual. Um, nice little card. It's not one of the best performance ever. It's only four gigabyte of uh, GDDR. 
six, five, I'm not sure. It's uh, only, only six, uh, four gigabytes of RAM in here. Um, it's a really low power card, but again, this is ideal for this system. Uh, and it, it's going to fit nicely in the case once it's done. Um, so like I say, a very modest build, um, but something that allows me to do this. Um, maybe in the future I can upgrade it and put one of those smaller 46s or something like that in it. That would be nice, but we'll see how we get on with that. But I just want to basically prove the concept and actually have a PC to use, uh, a portable laptop sort of PC. So let's get on and talk about what I've done so far. There is This is going to be part one. There is other things that need to be done. Um, so as you may have noticed with this motherboard, there is a bracket attached to it. So I've 3D printed this on my Bamboo P1P. And this is basically just got these two slots down here, which this is, it's not going to go on the outside, but just to give you an idea, I'm going to line up with the holes on this mod and come up sort of here and be obviously inside here. And the reason I've done these slots here is twofold. One, because I'm lazy and couldn't be bothered to measure it exactly. So I thought if I just put a strip in and measure, measure one of the dimensions, then I can literally just stick a screw of a washer in anywhere in there. Uh, and no, apologies for the noise of the fan kicking up on the computer. Uh, also, this allows me to slide it up and down if I need to reposition it. When obviously I'm figuring it out, I can slide it up and down on that rail there. It doesn't need to be that long at all, but that's that. So that's my bracket for my motherboard, um, ready to go. This is out of PLA. I am probably going to print it out of PETG because PLA is probably not going to handle the heat. It shouldn't produce too much heat because it is only a 10100, but just in case, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to print this out of PETG. Um, but so far it's in PLA just to sort of test the concept. And moving on from that, as you would have seen as I was showing you this power supply, I've also made this bracket for it. Um, it's got really, really dusty because it's been sat on the floor for ages uh, while I've been figuring other things out. And I've had to cut a piece out of it because I did it wrong. But this is the bracket for it. Um, so I've got obviously ventilation holes on the side here, the fans on that side, so it's going to suck air in, blow it back out that side. And it's got screw holes, um, basically screw holes to fit it to the power supply, and then screw holes down here so it can go basically in the bottom down here. I've actually done it the wrong way around, so I may redesign it because so at the moment the fan's facing into the computer um, rather than out, out of the computer. Um, so I may flip it the other way around. However, when it's being used, the lid's going to be up. There's going to be plenty of fresh air getting to it. So it depends whether I can be bothered or not to flip it over. But if not, but if I do, then obviously it'll be a bit better ventilation. So that's where I've got so far. I'm just going to chuck all these bits in for you and then I'm going to show you what it looks like once the stuff's in. Right, so I've installed the pieces that I've got so far, which is the motherboard with obviously all the bits on it and the power supply. And this is basically what it looks like. And uh, I'm pretty proud of it, to be honest with you. I think it looks pretty cool and everything fits nicely. The only issue I've got at the moment is getting screws in because there's no room here to get them in. It's really, really difficult. So I may come up with a different idea or I may see if I can get a really sort of small screwdriver or on a ratchet or something to get it in there. But at the moment it holds. Um, this is quite a snug fit in here as well. So it kind of friction holds as well, as well as the screws. So they kind of just keep it in place. Um, so as you can see, that's installed at the bottom there. Like I said, the power supply is sort of the wrong way around at the moment, um, but it doesn't really matter too much um, because it's gonna, um, it's still gonna get lots of fresh air. Cause obviously, like I say, the, uh, monitor is going to be on the front so when it's been used it's going to be opened up obviously my power supply cables can then come through here and sit in the back plenty of room in there they, they clear the front there uh, and obviously i've got access to the power supply uh, port at the back and then my motherboard's in again getting screws in is really difficult i could probably do with getting some better screws and some washers to hold them down to this sort of slot better or maybe stop being lazy and re redesign it with the holes measured exactly where they need to be and also i can only get one uh, one screw in this side because the Wi-Fi antennas get in the way and other things get in the way of me getting the other one in the other side. But that's uh, how it is so far. So that's the current sort of state of play with it and how it's going. And uh, I'm really actually quite pleased with how it's turning out so far. Um, it's not actually taken me that much time um, to get this designed and get it working. A um, few iterations of each piece so far, but it's not actually been too bad. I've actually quite sort of impressed at myself for how well I've done with this. Um, so yeah, that's uh, how that goes at the moment. And then the graphics card, um, I'm gonna print some sort of bracket out for it, 
but it is going to literally sit in the middle here. Obviously, a riser cable is going to go from the graphics card to the PCIe slot, um, but I am going to get a riser there, and I'm hopefully going to have it sort of floating in the middle rather than touching the back because I don't want anything to... It probably shouldn't short out because it's got a back plate on it. Um, I could be really lazy and sort of make it probably at the bottom there, probably easy to fit. But what I'm thinking is having sort of a bracket that holds it up in the air there. Mainly another way, is another reason is so I can get the cable, the riser cable through to the motherboard uh, and things like that. But I think if you hold it, if you see me hold it there, I think that's going to look pretty cool once it's done. Um, and that's, uh, yeah, that's going to be sort of the finished design. I also managed to find some hinges that fit perfectly into the holes that are already on this Mod 3. Um, so I can put hinges on there. Obviously, they're really, really sort of flimsy hinges and don't have any hold to them. Um, so I'm going to, have to design some, some, something that's going to hold the screen up. Um, but yeah, that's how they're going to go on there. Um, and obviously, there's going to be a screen on the top there. Talking of screens, I'll show you what the screen is. So the screen I'm using is a portable monitor. Obviously, it can't be a full-size monitor because that just wouldn't work. And this is a portable gaming monitor um, from a company called Arzopa. You may have seen, if you look for things like this, if you look for things like this, you may have seen them on Amazon. They are widely available on Amazon. Uh, I bought mine from AliExpress because it's a little bit cheaper, uh, even with the tax. Um, and it, I, I think it looks absolutely stunning. It's a really nice looking monitor. Um, and so basically this is going to be in a 3D printed case um, and then obviously mounted using the hinges on the back there so you can literally open it up and have your monitor in front of you. Um, I may do a review of this monitor. Um, if I haven't by the time you see this video and you want to see one then obviously give me a shout. Um, that's sort of, sort of kickstand but obviously that's not usable. And the reason I've got to use a 3D printed sort of frame is because there's no, unfortunately there's no VESA on there. There is other other monitors like this available with VESA mounting on them, but they're all a lot more expensive when I looked. Um, so that's why I went for this one. And this one's got uh, HDMI, mini HDMI. It's also got two USB-Cs, which can go to, I believe, DisplayPort and built-in speakers and things like that as well. Um, so that's the one that's gonna go on the top. So that's it at the moment, guys. Um, I hope you're interested in this. If you are, please obviously don't forget to subscribe and like this video and follow me um, so you can see my progress in this. I am hoping to get the um, the next the next part I'm going to go for is getting the monitor mounted. Um, and then the last part is going to be panels for the outside to make it look a lot neater and things like that. Uh, and then my future sort of plans for this are to be able to put some sort of uh, maybe like a drawer underneath it, 3D print maybe a drawer to go under it so I can put a keyboard in. And um, so I can sort of carry it around and maybe like a carry handle and things like that. So it literally is a full blown uh, portable desktop PC with a built in monitor. Um, so that's it, guys. Uh, I hope you find this interesting. If you did, please, obviously, like I said before, please subscribe and help me out. Um, give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you didn't like it. Um, if you have any ideas about this or things I could do better or thing, any ideas you have about this or uh, things for like upgrades in the future, please let me know in the comment section below. I'd really love to hear them because it would help me out loads. Um, and if you've got any ideas or better designs that I could use for this, then again, or even things like hinges and things like that, if you've got an idea of how I can make them hold themselves, um, then I'm all ears. Please, please uh, get in touch with me and let me know. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. I hope you're interested in this and I hope you'll tune in for the next one. Uh, I'll see you, see you guys soon. Have a great day. Goodbye.